A growing number of Democratic senators are calling on Senator Bob Menendez of New Jersey to resign in the wake of a federal bribery indictment. Menendez has so far rejected calls to step down. The Department of Justice says the senator and his wife accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes from three businessmen. CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian joins us now. Nicole, always great to see you. What's the latest on the Menendez front? Well, as you mentioned, there are growing calls for the senator to step aside from his own colleagues in the Senate. Of course, we saw a wave of uh, politicians from New Jersey who called for the senator's resignation over the weekend. But in the Senate, we are now at over more than a dozen members who believe that he should step down, most notably New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, who uh, really reserved judgment for a couple of days, but issued a pretty lengthy statement uh, today saying uh, that uh, after going through some of these allegations, that it was hard to recognize the person that he knows and that he believes it is in the best interest uh, of of the senator and his constituents for the senator to step down. We are also starting to hear from more uh, Senate Republicans just a short time ago, for instance, Marco Rubio, uh, not going all the way and calling for the senator to resign. But he did say that these are nasty allegations. But he said, ultimately, uh, this should be up to a jury to decide, not up to politicians. Uh, so there is a variety of reaction that we continue to get. Of course, the Senate expected to uh, vote this evening. And so we certainly expect to hear more in the halls from members as they return here to Washington today. Nicole, you had a lively and newsmaking interaction with Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Catch us up on the latest in the shutdown scenario talks and maneuvers. Well, the latest is really, you know, when you talk about the House and Senate, they're kind of like two ships passing in the night going in completely opposite directions. Of course, uh, over in the Senate just a short time ago, uh, both Senate leaders uh, Mitch McConnell as well as Chuck Schumer announced that they would move forward with a bipartisan short term continuing resolution to fund the government for a short period of time. That would include disaster relief as well as Ukraine funding. Uh, but here in the House, uh, they are operating a little differently. Instead of moving forward with a short-term package, they're actually taking up some of these appropriations bills. And so there will be a vote happening today uh, on efforts to move those appropriation bills uh, forward. But, uh, you know, the speaker says that as far as these bills are concerned, he really wants to make sure that they include legislation to strengthen border security. That really is a sticking point for House Republicans, particularly for more conservative members of the party. And so I talked to the speaker about that and whether or not that could potentially lead to a government shutdown. But what do you tell to the workers who are concerned they're going to get furloughed next week? Because... Well, I there is no them. agreement it's in there, either chamber, it, sir. I know, and it's easy. All the president has to do is say, you know what? As one of my fundamental jobs as the president of the United States is to secure a border. So that's and that really border is not secure. Secure that border and we'll be able to keep it all open. Can you guarantee that there will not be a shutdown at the end of this week? Look, I have worked all my time to make sure that there could, would not be a shutdown. So the speaker not saying definitively whether or not uh, there will be a shutdown at the end of the week. Uh, is certainly, he has put up a number of different proposals, again, with these appropriations packages being the latest one. But he even went so far as to say, Major, that he thinks it may be worth having a meeting with President Biden over this issue of the border. Uh, so that is kind of a new component of this. We don't know if that's something that the White House is uh, willing to entertain. But the bottom line is whatever passes over here in the House is likely not to move forward in the Senate. What comes over from the Senate may not pass the House. So really, uh, both chambers appear to be on a collision course. Legislative ships passing in the night, as you said, Nicole Killian. Thank you.